I wanted to do something a bit different this time around. So instead of using CSS to make an illustration, I decided to use HTML5 Canvas to make a bat symbol. So let's get started. Create a canvas tag with an ID of Batman and then give it a width of 2000 and a height of 1000. Now over to the CSS. Let's set the background color of the body to say, let's do a dark gray. And then we're going to top left 50%, add a transform property and translate by, uh, to negative 50% by negative 50%. Then we're gonna display block, set the max width and height to 90%, add a border radius of two pixels, and then lastly, border color to whites. And now getting started on the JS, let's give ourselves the ability to use canvas. So first we get the Batman canvas element and then we take that element and then add a get context with a context type of 2D. With this, we can now use canvas to draw graphics. So with that, let's draw an oval for the, you know, the badge part of um, our symbol. So we're gonna type down C.ellipse and then it's gonna take like a lot of parameters. I believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parameters. The first two is X and Y. X and Y lets us set the position of the oval. Next two is radius X and radius Y, which both let us set the width and the height of the oval. The fourth one, no, the fifth one is rotation. Uh, we're not gonna need this, rotation just sets the rotation of the oval, we're not gonna need that. So we're gonna um, pretty much skip over that. We're gonna have uh, set that as zero. Start angle is going to be, um, let's start angle. We're gonna start, start angle at zero. Um, I, I guess it starts, yeah, start angle starts the angle at a certain point. Um, and then the next one is going to be end angle and we're gonna want that to be two multiplied by math dot pi. And I believe that is just the whole circumference of the oval. Uh, don't quote me on that. I just, you know, looked on the MDN and that's what I saw. So we're gonna go with it. And then the last one is anti-clockwise, which again, we don't need. Pretty much the same thing as rotation except backwards. So, you know, I'm just gonna cut that off. Here, I just fill the color of the oval and then I close the path. After this, it's just, you know, pretty much connect the dots. I had a grid going on. I had a grid thing going on so I could um, uh, connect everything, you know, in the right spot so I don't mess anything up. But I'm not gonna include that in this video. I'm just gonna show you, um, I'm just gonna show you me just connecting the dots. So I create a begin path, move to my desired path, and then start etching out the bat. Here I'm just adding a color to the line and then defining strokes so you guys can see the output of the code that I'm typing. I'm using quadratic curve two to get those curved lines for the wings. For the upper side of the bat, where the head and arms are, I'm using line two. Now I'm going back to using quadratic curve two to get the other side of the wings.
And finally, I close the path and fill in the color for the bag. 